Hey guys, welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro Hacks. This is a place where I'm going to teach you the tips and tricks. I'm going to give you the tips and tricks on how to hack Adobe Premiere Pro. In this episode, or in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can get small file sizes within Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's do it. If you're a video blogger, and if you just like to do videos fast, and do videos on a daily basis, then this will save you a heap and a lot of time. I've just learned this trick actually a couple of weeks ago even and I've started implementing it and my workflow my work my workflow has been much much faster so let's do it let me show you so we start off by going to file we start off by going to file export media click on click on format h264 is good because obviously h264 is good for internet and then you go to preset and I'll choose Android tablet 720p 25 frames. You click on that and then output name. There we go. Sharif's video blog. So save. Let's do it. So let's just press export and that's it. And let it do its magic. Yeah. The reason I'm doing it in 720p actually because one, I don't want it to take longer in YouTube because obviously you know, I don't want it to take longer uploading on YouTube. And if I was to do it in 1080p, it would also take longer exporting. So for a file size, that's this would save you a heap of obviously you know space because if you was to do it the normal way, which is just exporting H.264 to QuickTime, the file would probably come down to an average for a video to export into like a QuickTime YouTube video to export a video into QuickTime Movie HD as well 720p. An average space would probably be a gig, two gig, on average, depending on how many minutes. For example, with my video, 11 minutes, will probably be around a gig, which is almost a thousand megabytes. Well, with so this one, as you can see there, it says estimate file size, and it says it's only 179 megabytes. That's that's the estimate. It could probably go lower and or or higher, but that's the estimate. Imagine that's almost 900 or almost 800 megabytes lower than when you would actually have done it in. Well, this is the Android tablet version, but it still works out the same way because once people are watching it, the quality is still the same. That's what I was amazed by. But this is the comparison. This is the HD blog, obviously uh, the one that I told you guys about exporting it the traditional way, which is QuickTime H.264 and then HD uh, 720p 25 frames. And then this is a new way that you could do it. Look at the file size. Look at the file size difference. 187 versus 627. Obviously, this one's a bit more compressed, but it doesn't make much of a difference on YouTube. So don't worry about it. That's it for me, and I'll see you on another Adobe Premiere Pro Hacks. See you.